For many people, it can be hard to decide which strategy to use in different algebra situations. So I'm going to try to, in this set, give you that sense of when we should arithmetize, when we should use Desmos, when we should just do it by hand. This is a case where I would probably do it by hand, but we do have the arithmetize option. So the reason I would do it by hand is they're just asking for something weird. The values of A and B added together, and A and B are determined by where they connect to the different variables in this question. So the A is the coefficient for the Y squared, B is off on its own as a constant. So I would want to keep those things separate so I could tell them apart, and we can just do normal um, algebra moves here. So first I would start by distributing. So on my scratch paper, I would write all the things I'm about to write here. 7, 5, 3, 2, plus 100y squared, plus 100y squared, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, right? So no calculator necessary because it's just multiplying by 10. But I would show that step. Don't start combining things until you've seen all the things you're combining. So now 100 plus 100 is 200y squared, and 7, 5, 3, 2, minus 1100. That I can also do in my head, but you know what? I don't trust myself that much. We're going to do 7, 5, 3, 2, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, and I get uh, plus 6, 4, 3, 2. So now I have my A right here and my B right here. They want to know A plus B. So 200 plus 6, 4, 3, 2 is 6, 6, 3, 2. That is my answer. So I would do that by hand mostly because, like I said, I want to keep the different coefficients uh, and, and constants separate because I need to know which is which. But in this case, based on the way that they kind of set us up, we do have the ability to arithmetize. What you could do is recognize that if y is equal to 1, then a y squared plus b is a plus b, right? Because then this y squared basically goes away because it's equal to 1. 1 squared is, is 1. So that works, but it's not like we can arithmetize like we normally do. We can pick any number we want. We really have to just pick 1. Alternatively, I guess we maybe could pick 0 and then uh, maybe find the b and then the a separately, but I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. So if we were to arithmetize, it would just be 7, 5, 3, 2 plus 100 plus 10 times 10, which is 100, minus well, 10 times a, a, a 110 is 1100. So notice it's the same exact numbers and we end up kind of combining the same things. 100 plus 100 is 200 and then 7532 minus 1100. But in this case, we could go right to the calculator and just do it all in one shot. So 7532 plus 100 plus 100 minus 1100 is same thing, 6632. So what do you think? Is, is this one where you would have even seen that arithmetize opportunity? Or is this just like me, you're kind of diving right into the traditional algebra here and just getting all the coefficients? I'm curious what you think is most efficient.